What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. Hey, this NBA playoffs is wild, y'all. Hey, I did I, I think I did say that I feel like Denver was gonna wind up beating Phoenix, man. But um we basically getting down to the final four teams, man. So here go my bracket. I'ma say that Boston is gonna wind up beating Philly. So it's gonna be Boston and Miami versus the Lakers and Denver. And then as far as the NBA Finals, I'm going to go with, man, I, for some reason, I feel like it's going to be a repeat of the bubble. I feel like this is going to be that Jimmy Butler moment, yo. For some reason, like, I feel like if the Lakers and Miami end up in the Finals, Miami may win. Now, I might have to eat those words, and I may change up a little bit later on. But y'all let me know who y'all got winning the NBA Finals down in the comment section below. Army, so Pete, man, I was talking to Flight earlier today and he was just letting me know that one of the stores had came to him and asked him, did he want some sizes in these joints right here? So for those who don't know, my big bro Flight Academy kicks, he got four stores. He got a store in Lakeland, Florida. He got two stores in Miami and then he got a store in Atlanta. And this particular shoe right here, Army, what, COVID time? And maybe a couple, I'd say about 2021, 20, 2022, they start to lose their flame. But this was one of the most sought after sneakers for a very long time. And this is a size 13 right here. And I'm talking about the Nike Panda Dunk. Now, the Panda Dunk is not what the Panda Dunk was during COVID and a little bit after COVID. Now, at one point, the Panda Dunk was going like 350 plus, and that's not even in sneaker stores. So if the Pandas was going 350 plus on like StockX Go, that mean in stores, people was probably charging like 500 plus for Panda Dunks. And the crave for Pandas was like bananas. I remember when me and Snipe was in New York doing a BR Kicks challenge and literally on the street, man, every single block in New York, man, we seen somebody wear a pair of panties on. And again, the craze was just, it was up there. People was going crazy. You couldn't keep panties in stores. People was taxing for panties. And now you looking, panties are going dang near retail. Panties are actually sitting in stores now. Who would have thought two years ago when people was popping out Pandas 350 plus that these joints would literally be sitting in stores? Now that's a great thing if you like Panda Dunks, if you want to double up in a Panda. One thing I can say is the first batch of Pandas that they dropped, quality was completely different. Quality was a lot better. They wasn't as flimsy. They didn't feel as cardboardy, I guess. That's what a lot of people been saying as far as the quality of Panda Dunks over the last two years. Now, one thing that really caught my attention, honestly, over the last year, Army, is the fact that Nike has literally dropped this shoe every single month for the last year and a half. I feel like they started doing that last year. And as you can see, it has dropped the value of the Panda Dunks down to the point where these joints are sitting in stores. You can walk in some stores right now and get a pair of Pandas for retail. The Panda Dunk highs. Them joints was going for some bread at one point in time. Now, those have been sitting for a little bit. Now, it's to the point now, Army, where I feel like what I said years ago has really hit home. I said that Nike is controlling the market. And some people laughed at me, some people understood what I was talking about. Now, what do I mean by Nike's controlling the market? Nike has produced this shoe 15 times, 20 times since these first came back out. And again, you see the price has gone down. They controlling that now. If they wanted this to be a limited shoe, they won't drop these no more. They'll let pandas dry up, let the price of them go back up, let the demand of them go back up. And they can actually do that. And it also showed me this. If they can do this with this shoe, they can do that with any shoe. And I feel like the Air Force Ones followed up. Like, Air Force Ones was extremely hard to get. People couldn't get Air Force Ones. Muggs was taxing 170, 180, 190 for Air Force Ones. It's to the point where Nike was like, how are we only making so many pairs and we letting all these resellers eat? We need to be eating, so we're going to continue to push them out. Because at the end of the day, if we can get them for retail on Nike, ain't nobody going to go and pay that resale unless they feel like it's an impossible cop. So look at it this way. The Haritos. How many retros we going to see on the Haritos? How many restocks we going to see on the Haritos? 
Look at the UNC dunks, the Spartan dunks, the Michigan dunks. Look at all these other popular dunks, these popular SBs. How many times have those joints restocked? Again, if Nike can do it with this shoe, maybe not the Haritos, because I know that's a collaboration, because they're going to have to pay Haritos. But as far as just a UNC dunk, a, a Panda dunk, a Michigan dunk, they can retro all of these shoes every single month. If they want to bring down the hype, if they want to bring down the resale, Nike has the availability to do so. Y'all know I was going to pull these out. Air Jordan will lost the fouls. Same thing. This shoe can drop every single month and sell out just like the Panda Dunks they drop every single month and sell out. Yes, when these drop on Nike.com, they gone. When these drop on Nike, they gone. Why can't it be the same thing? This shoe is still going 400 plus. 400 plus. They can do the lost and founds just how they did the Panda Dunks. But you know what? They want to keep the hype on these. Number one, it's the Jordan. So it's looked at more prestigious as this shoe right here. But it can have the same exact results. Drop this shoe every single month. This shoe is going to sell out. They go make their money. Yes, the demand is going to go down. Yes, the resale value is going to go down. But Nike don't care about that, right? They want the people to have a shoe. If they want every single person to have a pair of Panda Dunk, they can do it. And they've been doing it by restocking the shoe every single month. So that's why I say Nike pick and choose what shoes they want to do. Again, Air Force Ones get recycled every month. Panda Dunks get recycled every month. And then it's like they stop right there, man. We going we gonna to keep the hype and demand on these popular shoes that got people going crazy, that got our app going crazy. Let's be honest. I guarantee you when the Pandas drop, it's not the same flame that they once had years ago. They ain't got that same flame. They probably ain't got the same attention. These, on the other hand, if they drop these every single month for the rest of the year, it's going to have that high flame. But some, but by the time that they dropping these again next year, everybody going to better have their pair. And if these only going 200 bucks, those who want the shoe actually going to be able to get it. So again, that's why I've been saying for years, man, Nike is a problem and they the solution. They the solution because they have the accessibility to make every single shoe, every single shoe that I have in the vault. And I'm going to go ahead and cancel out collabs because I know they got to break them on something. But every single other Nike shoe that they push out, they can literally make, and, and I mean, they can do Jordans too. But if we want to just talk Nike, if we want to just talk Nike, they can literally drop every single Nike dunk, every colorway once a month. If they want to do the Air Jordans, they can drop the Air Jordans once a month, every month. Now, it may be some behind the scenes stuff with Jordan brands saying like, look, we don't want y'all to drop our shoes as much. We want the Air Jordan ones to continue to be a hot commodity. We want that demand to still be hot. We want the Air Jordan 11 breads to be hot. You think if Nike was to drop the Air Jordan 11 breads, at the end of this month and at the end of next month that they wouldn't sell out like that's missed opportunity again we see what happened with the pandas even though the pandas are still going about retail they still sell out every single time on the nike app again the solution is to just continue to make the shoes y'all can do it the problem is they still want that artificial hype man they still want it because it still brings people to the app it still brings people to Nike.com. It still brings people into the outlets to see if some of this stuff going to pop up in there. Like, Nike is a business. They smart. They see what's going on, man. They know about resale, resellers. They know about all of this stuff. And again, this stuff continues to drive their product. Having these high resale value on these Chicago ones is keeping people actually want to get them for retail. So every time they drop, bam, they're going to sell out. Like, I get it. I get it, but again, they trying to stop all the bots and stuff, and we appreciate that, but again, that's still hurting some of the average consumers. All y'all gotta do is retro these joints, restock these joints every single month, like the Panda. Call it the Panda Dunk Experience. Call it the Panda Dunk Experiment, whatever y'all wanna call it, but let's see about y'all dropping these Air Jordan 1 Chicago Lost and Founds every month. Let's see about y'all dropping some dunks that's reselling $400. How many times do you want to see dunks restock? Maybe once or twice. Again, pair of dunks that restock about 20 times within the last 20 months. So again, Army, it's possible. In the comment section below, y'all, let me know y'all spin on this. How y'all feel about this? Do y'all think it's something possible? Do you think it's some behind the scene politics where Nike don't want to drop a lot of these high demand Air Jordans because it's going to bring the value down? Do y'all think Nike care? Do y'all think they just only focus on all white Air Force Ones and just white and black pandas? 
Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section below. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. Unbreakable Army stand strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones and of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old tough, but he get a music. Yo, it's old him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.